This is Approaches to Literature with Mrs. Anderson. What are some ways we can use to approach reading literary texts? How do we approach the reading of literature? We use critical lenses. So what are critical lenses? Critical lenses allow us to review literature from multiple perspectives. Through critical lenses, we can focus on one or two aspects of the text and gain deeper meaning from the text as a whole. This year, we will review four critical lenses. However, there are multiple critical lenses out there. Our first one is the reader's response lens. The second one is the formalist lens. The third, sociological, and finally, cultural studies. Our example text is Mary Had a Little Lamb. It is based on a true story of a little girl named Mary who brought her lamb to school with her. This is Mary's actual school. It's called the Redstone School. And it is around 1798 that the school looked like this. Currently, the school is in Sudbury, Massachusetts. It is in the days of the one-room schoolhouses where all grades were in one building in one room. So this is typical of schools of that day. Our example text, written by Sarah Josepha Hale. Mary had a little lamb whose fleece was white as snow. And everywhere that Mary went, the lamb was sure to go. It followed her to school one day, which was against the rules. It made the children laugh and play to see a lamb at school. And so the teacher turned it out, but still it lingered near and waited patiently about till Mary did appear. Why does the lamb love Mary so, the eager children cry? Why Mary loves the lamb, you know, the teacher did reply. Our reader's response lens. If we were going to analyze this text using reader's response, we would focus on making connections between the text and the reader's personal experience. So three questions you would ask. In what way does the story connect to your personal experience? What is your initial reaction to the story? And what personal experiences do you have that influence your personal interpretation of the story? In the case of Mary Had a Little Lamb, if you were an animal lover, you probably would connect with Mary and how she felt about her pet. However, if you were not an animal lover, you would see the story very differently. This is what you would write about in a reader's response lens. For formalist lens, we would focus on a form such as symbols. We would focus on a form such as images, symbols, structure, and how one part of the text relates to the whole. Some questions we would ask are, are there recurring patterns and symbols and what do they mean? In what way does the author's use of diction influence the meaning of the text? And what is the effect of the author's use of characterization, theme, symbols, plot, or narration? So here we would look at symbols. Let's pick out one. How about the lamb? What could the lamb symbolize? What could that lamb mean? These are questions you would answer in a formalist critical lens interpretation. So the diction, the author's use of words in the story well, the story rhymes, how does that influence the meaning? The story is written in a simple language that even a child could understand. How does that influence the meaning of the story? Let's look at characterization. Pick a character. You can pick Mary, you can pick the teacher, you can even pick Mary's peers. What effect does the author's use of characterization have on the story as a whole? How about the theme of the story? What can we say about that? What about the plot? the actual story as a whole, and how the author narrates the story. When we look at these elements closely, we are analyzing the text from a formless critical lens. Sociological lens. This is where we focus on the character's relationship to society as a whole, including family, politics, business, religion, and community. Questions that we would ask are, what is the relationship between a character and their society? What tensions are present between a character and their society? And in what way does the story reflect societal values? It is here that we see that the character and the society has some great tension, right? Mary brought a lamb to school. It created tension in her school. It created tension between her and the teacher. It created tension between her and her classmates. And it created a personal internal tension as she waited inside, did what she needed to do for school, knowing that her beloved pet was outside. She most likely worried the entire day. So there are multiple tensions in the story that we can talk about and analyze using the sociological lens. Finally, cultural studies. 
In cultural studies, we look at the culture as a whole, including social class, cultural values, nationality, ethnicity, historical foundations, and political conflicts. Questions that we would ask are, what is the dominant culture and how are they influenced? In what way are people silenced? Is language a form of oppression? Is there a cultural clash represented? Who is a colonizer? Who is a colonized? So here we see the lamb is certainly silenced, right? The lamb is not just silenced, it is turned out and put outside. From that point, the class is silenced because they are not supposed to be engaging in all this activity with the, the lamb. So they are put to work immediately thereafter. So the dominant culture here is school culture and school culture is influenced by the teacher's rules in that particular setting. So using critical lenses, we can look at multiple perspectives and multiple theories. We approach literature by analyzing it from multiple perspectives using critical lenses. These lenses enable, these lenses enable us to interpret literature using multiple perspectives.